Well, all right, folks. No, I haven't had a major accident, but <laughs> you never know these days. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk about what happens about disc golf when you've got limited mobility. And I'm going to talk about the flick putt right after the intro. No, but as I was working on my next video about flick putting and what kind of discs I like to use, uh, there was a comment on one of Scott Stokely's videos about putting and, and following through where somebody asked about putting in a wheelchair. Uh, and it got me thinking. And so I actually stopped the video, went down uh, in the basement of the church I work at, grabbed a wheelchair, and went down there and tested it. And I really do believe for folks that have mobility issues, flick putting might be a good option for them. Uh, and the reason why is, once again, I keep saying it requires less body motion. You don't need to have as much body invested in the shot as you do with a regular putt. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I'm here, I've got to either get my body out of the way and I just all arm, if I'm locked into the chair, I'm gonna pretend I, you know, I've got no motion. I might even, I was tempted maybe even strap myself in, but I've got no motion. I've got to generate all this power from this right here. I can do it, but it's taking everything I've got and it's all a quick snap. Now I could get pretty good at it, but it's requiring, it really wants me to invest a lot of energy to get that putt going. Whereas if I just simply come out here suddenly I can relax the chair and my body are not in the way and I can just, it, it's a simple little flip through. And so really, we could stop the video right there. I think if you were in a mobility reduced situation, the flick putt can be a very helpful thing for you to do. It's gonna give you more distance. Uh, you think about it when you're watching the pros and they start getting farther and farther away, what do they end up doing? They end up relying on that jump putt. They, in essence, they have to get their entire body into the putt to get it going further. But I can stand at that same distance with a flick putt and not do anything and still be able to throw it that same distance with relatively good accuracy. As a matter of fact, at this point, I'm, I'm pretty dangerous from that distance because I've thrown that enough. So if you have mobility issues, I really would encourage you to try the flick putt. And not just for here, but if you go out and you're playing disc golf, I think you're gonna wanna be more forehand dominant because it doesn't require. You think about backing, look, this twisting and stuff, depending on how much mobility you have, you really have to work around the chair and get a lot of action going. Now you can do it, you know, every one of us is different. You've gotta figure out what's best for you. But to be able to just sit here and just throw from here is a shot you're gonna wanna do. And I would also recommend, guys, if you know anybody who wants to help me out, I think something like this that you could attach to your chair, that way, hopefully you've got enough mobility to reach down. But something like this that you could come along, you could grab your disc and you could play from there, hook it on your chair, go rolling, do whatever. There's the disc, reach out there, grab it, pick it up, and you're good to go. So anyway, I think, you know, we have limitations that, that, that come into our game, but we can figure out ways to overcome them the best way we can. And I think uh, flick putting may be a great answer for those folks that have a lim little bit limited uh, ability with their throwing. I think if you've got a, a slower arm, you've got health issues. I know when I had shoulder surgery, I had to play left-handed. Now trying to flick left-handed, that would have been death. But it, let's say I, I'm using my right arm, but I don't have as much strength as I used to. That may be uh, a very uh, viable thing for you to do instead of your regular putting. So anyway, uh, that's kind of my theory on that is uh, let's get the conversation started about how we can look at the accessibility of the game and what we can do to help folks that might think, oh, I can't do this game. This game's not for me. This game's too hard. I think there are ways that you can do it and enjoy this game. Now, we've also got to talk about in the future about making some of these courses a little more accessible for wheelchairs and stuff like that. For instance, Inverness, it's terrible for carts. So, so this wheelchair wouldn't make it, but we're gonna develop, we're gonna process, we're gonna figure these things out in the future. But let's start the conversation about all this. So there you go, that's what I've got for today. I hope that encouraged you to think about uh, flick putting, not only for just regular, if you're crazy like me, like to do it in the woods and around trees and stuff like that, but also when uh, you might have some mobility issues, it might be something to get you going a little bit farther, a little more accurate, with a little less stress on the body. Okay, so the question is, flick putt for helping with uh, 
somebody in a wheelchair, what's the best position? Well, I think it's gonna be turned this way, but I thought I'd do a little test. So, so now I'm kind of facing, what, about 20 degrees off, and I'm coming across my body. Doable. So now, straight at the basket. Across the, bat, across the body. I think for com most comfortable, it's kind of straight at it. So you just kind of set up. Now obviously I would have hopefully a bag in my lap or on the back of this so I could just reach around and grab it. Yeah, so there you go. I think, I think it's definitely doable. Now, let's see, and I know it's not fair because the uh, body type and stuff like that, but I want to see how far back I can go that make it kind of a comfortable shot. All right, first things first, if I was in this chair and I couldn't move forward, hopefully most folks will have some, some upper torso movement so they could get a little power behind it. But let's say I'm, I'm to where all I've got is arm movement. I don't even know if I can make it to the basket here. I'm going to have to do something like this, sweep up, gain some momentum, and pop it. Okay, that took a lot of work. That was hard. But I could get, oh, I could get used to it, and, and so, oh, it, it would take some doing. But we can figure out a lot of things. The human body is amazing. So, <laughs> pulling off to the left. All right, one more. Trusty birdie. Yeah, a lot of work. That, whereas this is just so much more comfortable to just grab it and throw it. So, now, now let's go try, see how far back we can do it and still be comfortable from the forehand. I couldn't go any farther back and think about making a putt. Maybe two or three feet more, but that's about it. Don't get jealous of my swank disc golf bucket here, you know. That's nice right there. All right. Oh, cool. <laughs> so now, from this distance, there's no way I could throw no power in the world. I'm going to throw my hardest shot possible from here. I'm going to try to keep my back. <laughs> it made it about to the basket, but that was just pure fling. Uh, so there's, there's no chance from here. Whereas I think, yeah. Guys, I don't know what else to say. I think this is something you should think about, something you should work on. If you're limited in your mobility, it makes such a difference. Now, I should stop right there because I made my first one and I'm never going to make the second one, but let's push our luck a little bit. Ha! <laughs> All right, guys, so after I did, the uh, day before yesterday, I did a recording of, of doing the flick putt in the wheelchair versus this. Uh, I was talking to my buddy. And he said, oh yeah, you know, are you throwing from over here? And I totally forgot about trying uh, where I adjust my chair 90 degrees to see how that does. That'll definitely be easier than this, but I still think the flick putt is going to be an easier shot. So by setting up this way, you, you allow your body to have a little more rotation. The arms uh, won't get in the way. And so now you're just going to have to give it a, a nice pop. But this way you've got room to swing and you can get a little more power behind it. Uh, so that's much easier than trying to go from the body in. So then let's see if I can get a little farther back. So you're definitely able to produce more power from the side. I just don't know why I wasn't thinking about this. But so if you, especially if you've got some upper body movement, you, you've got a little more uh, movement in the body, this is definitely uh, workable for your drives and your putting. <laughs> Until you hit the camera. Yep, so there you go. So whichever way uh, is a little more uh, convenient or feels better for you, I do feel like this creates, requires a little more body movement, a little more torso movement. So if you've got limits down below, I still think the, four, the flick putt is going to be the putt for you. But uh, I wanted to throw that in there because I didn't want to 
teach y'all on the uh, idea of all the different ways that you could putt from the chair. Hope that helps. I, I want to encourage people to get out and play and I don't want you to feel like you're inhibited because you've got some, some, some body motion issues, you can't throw as far, uh, whether it's because you're in a wheelchair, uh, you, you know, you're, you're a bigger person or a smaller person, you know, these things that uh, can hold us back. Well, let's figure out ways to, to compensate for those, to be able to play your best game with what you have at the moment. And then hopefully we're striving to get better. When I started back at disc golf, I was 70 pounds heavier and it was running up and down these hills and playing over and over again that got me back to life in a lot of ways. And I wanna encourage you that this could be a sport that could help you in a lot of ways too. And let's just get out and try it. And hopefully you'll have some fun and hopefully I'll see you out on the course.